The truck made a left turn at that corner, jumped that sidewalk, continued onto this sidewalk, went through this front fence, eventually hitting the Papa's family's front porch. Could be a tough crime to solve. However, thanks to the power of social media and those cameras, they know who did it. All was quiet around 2 o'clock Saturday morning for Sam and Emily Papa. The surveillance video shows this truck then made that turn and crashed right into their front yard. Didn't know if it was... Our kid falling out of bed didn't know, didn't really know what it was. Emily Papa saw what was going on out of their bedroom window. The driver stumbled out of the truck, assessing the damage and trying to plot his getaway. Eventually, he was able to reverse out of the muddy yard. Sam Papa only made it outside as the truck was leaving, injuring his hand as he got tangled up on what used to be his organized front porch. You came I came outside and because the the front porch was so damaged, all the furniture was pressed in front of the door, and I didn't know. So I threw the door open and stepped out and, and got all caught up in all that furniture and had fallen. Quickly, the Papas went to the tape, getting a partial plate number and calling 911 with all the details. They had only gotten the security cameras a few months prior after another scary incident. We actually talked to the guy who did our surveillance today, and I said, listen, we were a little bit apprehensive about the cost of it initially, but it, it paid for itself tenfold today. Emily posted pictures on Facebook and it was shared all around Washington County. The Papas say police told them the driver turned himself in Saturday and charges for him are pending. I really hope that uh, this individual takes his uh, takes this as a, a learning experience and, and is grateful that he didn't kill anybody because he could have and I hope he gets help and uh, you know I wish him the best. Sam Pappas says this home is nearly 140 years old, that they've put a lot of work into it and making the fixes because of this accident are going to take some time. We're in Washington County tonight. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.